What is up my friends? How are we? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm just going to crack into it. I'm going to try a new format. This is my uh, new microphone. This is my new monitor. That's not new. But um, what is new is, look, I, 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 I know, I know that there's a lot of you out there, start my videos, scroll straight away to the point that I react to whatever content I'm reacting to. And that's all you watch. And that's absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to listen to you guys. I'm going to listen to YouTube's feedback. I'm going to look at the analytics and I'm going to do what I haven't done before. And that is literally just sit down. Look, I haven't done it in this video, but I will in the next. I'm going to sit down with the video already in front of me. I'm going to let you guys know who I am, what I'm reacting to, why I'm reacting to it, and just get straight fucking into it. So today's video, I'm going to put out in real time. You've just seen my reaction to who was the third ranked player in the NFL for the year of 2020. It was Aaron Donald. I put that video out about two hours ago. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm sitting here this morning. It's 8.46 a.m. I need to crack into this. I am suffering from a little bit of paralysis by analysis at the moment, and I cannot let that happen because of the fact that I'm actually leaving New Zealand in a week and a half. Actually, no, it's eight days now. So I leave, I leave here on Friday next week. Uh, it's Thursday today. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to go to Australia to see my kids. But what I need to do, what I need to do until then is just grind. I need to grind away. I need to make as much content as possible. And it starts today. It starts today. So what I've got prepared earlier is this. And what this is, is a video titled the top 10 fastest players in NFL history. Now this video came out just over a month ago, December the 17th, 2020, month and a half. Um, who's it by? Nonstop Sports, 251,000 subs. I'm not going to sub just yet, but if I do enjoy the video, maybe I will. We've got the top 10 fastest players in NFL history. Now, the other reason why I'm doing this is because, like I said at the start, I'm listening to my, my YouTube analytics. And top 10 or anything to do with the fastest players definitely gets views it does it might not get you know the most views off the bat but these videos are ones that they do tend to get recommended they do tend to get searched and so eventually eventually they reach the people that i want them to reach now today's video has already gone too long i promise i won't do that in the next one but these videos are going to be edited very very efficiently effectively and put up on the channel before you even get to see Russell Wilson on the top 100 list. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support. I'm really, really grateful for everything that's going on in my life right now. But nothing worth having comes without a little bit of work. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say that nothing worth having comes easy because at the end of the day, sitting down and doing this is easy. But getting to this very point right here, right now hasn't been. But that's just life. Anyways, let's get into the top 10 fastest players in NFL history. There might be a few surprises in here. I'm not sure. Let's go. NFL. Speed kills. Even as kids, playgrounds around the world are filled with races just to see who's the fastest. No wonder we obsess over speed. I think that's Tyreek. That's Saquon. Point puts you in a small club of players. And that's four. One of the fastest players in history gets you on today's list. The fastest players in NFL history. CJ, Michael Vick. Michael Vick? Michael Vick. What? There's not a better place to start than the fastest QB to ever live. Vick Was he that fast? The world, doing things never before seen by a passer. Reportedly running a 4.2540 at the combine. What? It was prime what? time entertainment every time Vick suited up. Vick's speed wasn't exclusive to just straight line. Vick would often cut, shimmy, and fake before exploding through the open lane. He didn't need to accelerate. Vick started in fifth gear. He was that Vick's good, start huh? start blazing speed led him to being the first quarterback to rush for a thousand yards in a single season. The first the quarterback to rush for a thousand yards. Now Lamar Jackson's done that, hasn't he? And run. There's not a dual threat passer that has ever had a saying wow more than Michael Vick. As a Damn. result, the tenth fastest speedster on our list is the all-time leading rusher at the quarterback position with over 6,000 yards on the ground, Cliff Branch. 6,000 rushing yards speed. and the first quarterback to rush for 1,000 yards speed. Just to win. Time, 
was trying to rekindle what he had in Cliff Branch. In the heyday Cliff of the Raiders, Branch, never Cliff heard of Branch him. was the biggest deep threat in the league. But before we get to his three Super Bowl championships, we have to talk about what Cliff Branch did as a sprinter. In the 1970 semifinal, Branch broke the 100-meter NCAA record at 10 seconds flat. And his speed translated to the league perfectly. He retired the all-time receiving yards leader in playoff history. And had a 10 second flat hundred in any sport is going to absolutely branch, dominate. The Ain't no one catching him. Cliff Branch is the NFL's pioneer speed demon, Willie Galt. The pioneer speed demon, got it. Well, I thought this guy was Marshall Fork for some reason, but no. Olympics, winning multiple He's an Olympian. Gold records as a sprinter and relay runner for Team USA. In the 1983 World Championship, Galt was a part of the world record time 4x100 team. As a hurdler, he obliterated the world record time at the 1982... Oh my god, look at this guy run! That is the most impressive thing I've ever seen. Guys, okay, I'm gonna... Blow the top off of defenses. I'm gonna stop it for the first time. Um, okay, I thought DK Metcalf was impressive when he was running full tit, but ain't nothing... I ain't seen nothing in the NFL that's looked anything like that. That is, that is intense. That is 10 second flat speed. That is, can you, hang on, let, let me just go back to this. If there was an athlete, like let's imagine, let's imagine Saquon, right? Let's imagine Saquon sitting there like this with world championship sprinting medals around his neck, but also his football, look at this guy. Is that not the swaggiest, sickest photo you've ever seen in your life? It's one of the, it's, it's, it's up there for me. Certainly is. That reminds me of a certain someone called Herschel, Herschel Walker. Is that the one I'm thinking of? It is the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> All right. Rated the world record time at the 1982 SEC championship. That is amazing. After the first round by the Bears, they used his speed to blow the top off of defenses. That's exactly what he did. With the legendary 1985 I've Chicago got to see some Bears Michael team, Vick, though. Galt was the mercenary of speed. Whenever they needed a game-breaking play, they turned to Galt's game-breaking speed. In a huge game against tall. the Minnesota Vikings, it was Galt's 70-yard touchdown grab that sprang the game open. You look along Willie's career stats, and every year he has a 50-plus yard He was slowing down. He's like, oh, nope, you better speed catch. up again. He was a pure speedster. Controlling the game because he was just simply faster than everyone else around him. Randy Moss. That sounds exactly like Tyreek Hill in today's game. Randy Moss was a long game. strider. At 6'4", it took him a little longer than other speedsters to get to his top speed. But once he did, there isn't anyone that could run stride for stride with him. The NFL really? Found out I did not realize he was that fast. fast. The freak was. At the Combine, he ran a 4.2540. What? That speed terrorized the NFL, regardless of what jersey he had on. Randy Moss. Hang on, hang on. So we've heard Michael Vick ran a 4.25 at the Combine. Randy Moss ran a 4. 24 at the combine but there's no footage of it there is no footage of it is there uh no we've got calvin johnson john ross look at that that's the first one it's the most common search term under michael vick's name is the 40 yard dash combine let's go is it there no it's not which sucks that really <laughs> really really sucks because i'm telling you these are some legendary 40 yard dashes up to this point, I have to admit, the most impressive 40-yard dash I have ever seen was DK Metcalf. Moss simply was faster, and knew he was faster. Everybody remembers Moss throwing his hand up running along the sideline, before he even had a step on D'Angelo Hall. He sprinted past Hall, running under a long bomb for the score. No single play shows just how big and fast He's big, Moss bro. Was. More than his Thanksgiving Day quick screen against the He is the big. Cowboys. He uses those six-foot-four legs. The sideline and proceeded to outrun oh, look at that little slowdown. Oh, wow. Well. Wow. Our personal favorite is that was incredible from Brady, where he outran three Jets defenders into the end zone. Randy Moss's speed was truly what one of catch. one. Chris Johnson. Here we go. Chris Johnson coming out of ECU blew up the CJ football 2K. world with his 40-yard run at the combine. Yes, now this Nobody is finally, talking about the finally a 40-yard dash we actually saw. 424 4 flat. Now that, that's something else. And to be honest, guys, after running a 424 flat, I mean that would have gone viral, right? I didn't, I didn't follow this game back then. Hopefully you did. Maybe you didn't. 
But that time would have gone absolutely viral, just like DK Metcalf's 40 yard dash did last year or the year before. So, you know, you got to you got to give this guy absolute and utter respect after not only you know running a 424, but fulfilling any prophecy that anyone had for this guy in the league by becoming only the seventh man in NFL history to reach 2,000 rushing yards. And it's very, very fitting that we see CJ2K on screen right now because of the fact that our man, Derek Henry, has just done it again for the eighth time in NFL history. I just had to mention that. One of the most epic moments I've ever seen live in the world of NFL and American football was Derek Henry reaching those 2,000 yards. He had to get 250 yards from the last game to reach 2,000, and he fucking did it. Absolute legend. Just like this guy. You have tenths of a second. Drafted by the Titans, Chris Johnson's speed constantly showed up on game day. With the ball in his hands, Johnson effortlessly blew by defenders. Every time he caught a pass or took a handoff, there was a chance his speed would actually take the game over. If he broke the initial line of defense, Johnson was impossible to catch. His speed killed, making him the ultimate. See, that's the thing. Having that kind of speed at running back. In 2009, Johnson ran into the record books. He ran for over 2,000 yards and broke the all time single season scrimmage record at 2,509 yards. He and his speed earned the nickname CJ2K. Just like Chris Johnson's record breaking year, his speed is unforgettable. Tyreek Hill. Here we go. Nicknamed Cheetah. Well, he's probably a current be player. On this list. We don't make the rules. But Hill's speed dictates. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on. We don't make the rules. Did you just hear that? Tyreek Hill. A guy nicknamed Cheetah. Well, he's probably going to be on this list. We don't make the rules. But Hill's speed we don't make the dictates rules. the game plan for defenses. <laughs> They change everything about themselves just to not get. Don't you love that? By Tyree. Don't you love that? At five nine, it's easy to lose Hill on the field. That yeah, he's five nine, but he's absolutely shredded. There's not an ounce of fat on him. In high school, Hill recorded both a four point two five forty and a sub. Where's his arms? One hundred meter dash. At his pro day in 2016, some scouts hand timed him at a four point two one in the forty. Sick. Very well decided to run track for the United States Olympic team instead of scoring touchdowns for the Kansas City Chiefs. He could have. And hey, he still might. After their Super Bowl win, Hill vowed to run in the U.S. sprinting trials. The Sunday Night Football video comparing his time next to all the best sprinters in the that world. That is so sick, man. When I think of Tyreek Hill. Able to, but he'd be right in the mix. Oh my God, how cool would that be? That would be a real Herschel Walker. You know what I mean? Tyreek Hill, the fastest player in the NFL. He's definitely the fastest player in the NFL. There's no doubt about it. He's 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 the most... Shit, is, is he Barry Sanders the second, but in a wide receiver position? I'm not sure. But what I do know is that both Tyreek Hill from the NFL and a guy called Carlin Isles from the game of rugby, also an American... Both at the top of their sports, both considered the fastest player in each of their individual sports, both want to make the US Olympic track team. And I'm going to be following both of them on their journeys throughout their sporting career. Neither of them are anywhere near finished yet, which is exciting for me. And it should be exciting for you too. But if we can just take a look at Tyreek Hill, look at his fucking arm. Guys, these, these, these footballers, they look like bodybuilders. I'm not going to lie. And for me, having you know fought tooth and nail to get down to that sort of body fat percentage earlier last year, respect. At speed on a football field, you can see why defenses tremor the night before they have to... You know, what? I, you know what I really respect? These guys being this lean, but also playing a high contact sport like football. I mean, there's not a lot of body fat to protect you, right? So, no wonder there's a lot of injuries, but the guys who can play, take those contacts, you know, absorb those contacts on a body with fuck all body fat, I don't know how they do it, but it's impressive. Play the Chiefs, Dion Sanders. Oh, here we go. Here Dion, we go. Dion. Dion is the flashiest player the NFL has I'm going to say Dion Sanders, cocky as well as Ocho Cinco, are my two favorite retired football players. 
Well, he knew he was the fastest and if you ask me who's the who who is one of my favorite on. players of all time, it's definitely like Deion this. Sanders. Instead of prepping and going through field drills at the combine, Sanders showed up without warming up. He stepped up to the 40-yard dash line and ran a 4.2 flat in street shoes. Then he immediately got back into the limo what? and came in and left, proving everything he needed to. Okay, I've heard that. I've heard that story before. That is just, that is prime time if I ever did see it. Backed by pretty much everybody. When you watch Sanders effortlessly stick to the NFL. I'm not even surprised. That is the attitude that he, that he presents nowadays, you know. That is certainly his attitude. It's, it's, uh, look, you know if you've got talent. Tell people about it if you've got talent. Don't be too cocky, you know what I mean? Don't be don't be too confident. Be be confident, but not cocky. I think is the kind of thing that Deion Sanders would say. NFL's fastest receivers throughout his career. I remember first watching Deion Sanders. I remember thinking, I've never seen a guy prance along at such speed, so effortlessly as the great man Deion Sanders. And that will stick with me. The toe drag swag makes the story that much more believable. Sanders may very well have run the fastest 40-yard dash ever, and he had all the charisma to go along with it. Bo Jackson. Speaking of urban legends, Bo Jackson's life is a literal walking urban legend. Everybody has a tale about Bo Jackson in the late 80s. Oh, I got shivers thinking about this guy because is more than just a story told I consider He's arguably the most Jonah Lomu to be rugby's to version live. of Bo Jackson. Combine, they say that Bo I really, Jackson really do. I do. I do. I know we're talking about speed. 4.12 seconds. If we saw that on camera, that would be... Yeah, that would be legendary. Um... But what is also legendary is, is Bo Jackson's equivalent in the game of rugby, which is Jonah Lomu. And to be honest, I've never actually thought about this, but they're even more similar for the fact that both of their careers got cut short due to, in Bo Jackson's case, a hip injury, and in Jonah Lomu's case, a genetic kidney disease. Uh, both careers tragically, tragically cut short. Interesting. One two forty yard dash. If that number sounds ridiculous, well, that's because it just adds it to the is. mystique. But don't fret. When they asked Bo what the actual time was, he finally spilled the truth. What did he say? It was in fact only a four point one three <laughs> official time. <laughs> Good thing we solved that myth. A four point one four time. What a legend! Bo by far. What a legend! So he's enough. saying he is saying that he got a four point one three second forty yard dash in stone clocked bo jackson said it super bo said it and to be honest the only thing that comes to mind when i when i hear that is well bo knows so bo knows a 4.13 there you go fellas ever seen at a remarkable 230 pounds mm. there may not have been another player on this list over 225 pounds see that's crack up because jonah lomu was 265 and that's the last time I'm going to mention him in this video, but he is one of my absolute favorite rugby players of all time. He's an absolute New Zealand rugby legend. He deserves to be mentioned. And that is what I did. That would make Bo the fastest pound for pound man in NFL history. But that doesn't mean he actually I, is the oh fastest. Oh, man, I, have, I have to watch more, some, some, some real-time Bo highlights. Enough. Speed no slow down Bob shit. Hayes. I want to see him at full speed Bullet Bob Hayes in all his the glory. Definition of speed. He's the only true Olympic sprinting gold medalist to play in the NFL. This is awesome, still, man. The only gold medalist and Super Bowl champion in history. Bob, Bob Hayes. Hayes. I've looked at him before. Legendary. And thankfully for us, it was also timed. Before the era of specialized training, Hayes broke the world record 100 meter dash, running under 10 seconds at the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. But the true test of Hayes' speed was in a 4x100 relay race, where opponents boasted that they couldn't win because all the US team had was Hayes. 
As the anchor of the race, Hayes made a dramatic comeback win, running the fastest relay leg in history at 8.5 seconds. After the race, his teammate looked over at the other sprinters and said, well, that's all we needed. Hayes <laughs> transitioned to the NFL, where he was drafted by the Cowboys. His debut in the league effectively altered the NFL forever. Why? Because of his unrivaled speed, defenses invented both press coverage and zone defenses, putting someone in man coverage. Oh! Oh, mate, was essentially an the Olympic Cowboys six points in his first gold years, medalist he playing Cowboys wide receiver, books, including 22 franchise marks. Can we get that to happen again? Can we please get that, ha that to happen again? Look, guys, so can we can we start recruiting Matthew Bowling into American football? Tell him that, yeah, you can win one Olympic. In fact, you know what? Go and win two Olympic gold medals in the 100 metres and then switch sports to American football. We've got a position for you at the New England Patriots with Bill Belichick in the slot. Bulk up a bit, you'll be fine. Let's do it. He changed the timeline of football. Bullet Bob Hayes was essentially Bullet Bob Hayes. NFL's flash, Daryl Green. Daryl Green. Who the hell is going to be number one? For his speed, almost exclusively. Yes, he was an all-time great cover corner, but it was his unmatched speed. Who is going to be number one? Always it's not John Ross, before. is it? It's not a surprise, as Green was a two-time All-American track star in college. Because if we're going by time, Bo Jackson got a 4-1-3. And to be honest, Bullet Bob Hayes got a, a nine-second hundred. So what is Green going to do? Despite being smaller than all his competitors, he was a first-team All-Pro selection at corner. This was a combination of having the greatest recovery speed ever seen. <laughs> great technician. Green reportedly recorded a 40 time of 4.6. That is who you want. What? 409? You're kidding me, mate. So these 40 times are just getting less and less. Been faster in competition than his college 10 second 100 meter dash, winning four NFL's fastest man competitions. When the event was retired, he was still. There was an NFL fastest man competition? Champion ever. So they need to bring that back immediately. Well, if you ask him, it's Tootsie Rolls. Green's pregame ritual included putting Tootsie Rolls in his socks. Daryl Green just proves that speed must live forever. He was clocked in with a 4.5 40-yard dash on his 50th birthday. But was he faster than Bullet Bob Hayes? Well, that's a foot race we'd kill to see. So, there you have it. The fastest okay. players in NFL Got history. It. What about you guys? What's your 40-yard dash time? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't get frisky. If you enjoy... Let me know in the comments down below. And don't get frisky. Okay, mate. Uh, well, I will. I I ran a 4.68 second 40-yard dash. Lol. I mean, I'm just telling the truth. It's pretty shit. It's pretty shocking compared to these guys. I'm going to like my own comment because that's what you got to do. you got to give yourself one like. People see that. They see one like. Well, I'll give it a second. I'll give it a third. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. If you leave a comment on anyone's YouTube page, including mine, and you don't like your own comment, you're doing yourself a disservice. Anyways, guys. Anyways, that was the first video of the day. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to edit this thing up as soon as possible, chuck it on the channel, and let you guys watch it. Now, some of you will have seen many of these players before. In fact, I've seen... I, I, I can't say I saw every single one of them. I feel like there was probably a couple that I hadn't. Um, but to be honest, non-stop sports. It looks like you're coming out with some real, real decent videos. We've got the 10 biggest freaks of nature currently in the NFL. And believe it or not, guys, before I edit this one, I'm going to watch this. Because why the fuck not? We've got it set up. Here we are. The NFL. Right here, right now. Tyreek Hill's on the screen. And so am I. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I hope you enjoy. So peace out. Thanks for watching.